let's start with where I come from. I was born and I grew up in a big slum in Africa. It's called Kibera Slum. Kibera Slum can be compared to Central Park, the size. Lives over a million people. No house, no good housing, no running water, no roads, no health clinic, no schools. It's really poverty. And I happen to be the, the eldest kid of, uh, in, the, in the family. We were eight. And I had a very strong mom who was really going out to do laundry to bring food. What you could see was violence, hopelessness. And when you are born there, you know there is no way out. As you know, Kenya is a class country. Your world is that poverty. I never knew what's happening outside. I never went to school because of poverty. But I used to love reading. I could collect the newspapers and read them. But what really changed my life was to read a story, a autobiography, of someone by the name Martin Luther King Jr. So when I look at myself in the slum, there is no way out. And you understand, you want to carry a gun. Why do you carry a gun in your hand? You know there's no way. You either live or die. No need of living. Life is so hard. And here comes a man from that struggle and say that there's a way. So Martin Luther King Jr. became my hope. I'm like, wow, this is a person who through hard time was able to stand up to change the life of his community and his life, not through violence. And I say there's hope for me too. That was the time that I came from work and I used my 20 cents from a dollar and I bought a soccer ball. And I took this ball, I went back to the community and I say we are forming a movement. Movement says enough is enough. That we have to solve our own problem. We cannot wait. We come together to help ourselves. And a movement was formed that is now called Shining of a Community. So the center idea is the girl child education. But it's helping the entire community. So I have to convince everybody, like, we're going to have a school for, 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 for girls connect with other social services, which is our education, community empowerment programs, water and sanitation, and health. I think this will be the, 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 the solution for urban poverty. And it will start with a girl. Because everyone trying to make our world a better place. And what I pass through is a symbol that the world can be a better place if all of us can work hard. And one woman in San Antonio told me that her doctor told her that the reason why she acquired type 2 diabetes was because she was Mexican, and that her culture was the reason, and the cultural foods were the reason that she would continue to do worse. And she cried, asking me, why did, she, why did he do that? And all I, could, all I could think about was, he didn't make her count. If we're here talking about social and global change, we've got to stop getting people to count and make people count. I use their own cultural language to develop things that were more engaging to their public and then took them to the community gardens and then took them to the farmers and everything so that they could go back to their community and explain it into their own cultural language to make the patients hungry for more. This is deliciousness, good people. And, to, and, and today, when you're listening to the numbers, okay, when you're listening to the numbers, remember this, that you, you curators of the future, all of you, everyone in this room, as I listen to all of you, you are the future. You are curating the arts, social engagement, even, even the culture of volunteerism in the world. You all are doing this. So when you get the numbers today, Remember, this cook, crazy cook, artist guy gave you the recipe, the recipe of how to make people count. Repeat the numbers with me, can we? One, One. One. honor wisdom of everyone in the room. Two. Two, honor the culture of your community. Three, allow for others to shine and then you will build loyalty and trust and make space for laughter. You, my good friends, have created 
deliciousness.